Hey travelers, welcome back. So today is going to be a a new little series. I've done little haul videos before, like, hey, I got something new. We're gonna actually call this like what's new in the office because this is actually a few weeks worth of purchases and randomness. So just gonna show you what I got that's new. I'm gonna start with the oldest item that I got and that is let's see it's this stuff here I was in Staples so actually this was shoot a month ago by the time this airs anyway I saw this adorable little binder I mean seriously I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for none but isn't it cute it's so cute that I bought extra paper um, and the guy told me when I was checking out, he's like, everybody that's buying this little binder buys at least one thing of paper. The paper was a dollar. The binder was a dollar. Yep. So a dollar, two dollars. I don't know what I'll do. I mean, honestly, it could be a cute little notebook for my desk, but so I got it at Staples. If I can find links, I'll throw it up. I don't know if it's online. I don't know how big that little ring is either. It's uh, pretty small. Maybe a half inch, maybe? I don't know, millimeter, that would be, that would be probably 15 millimeters. Maybe, maybe 10. Okay, moving on. I got this little donut notebook because who, oh, I just realized. I did not realize this before. Oh, I think it peeled off. It did, did it? Okay, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm all over the place. Um, it's, uh, like, um, la latex? No. Yeah? I don't know what that... I'm, like, drawing a complete blank as to what material it's called. But anyway, it's a donut notebook. And the notebook pad is donuts, too. And I thought, oh, that's so cute. So I bought a couple um, for a couple friends of mine. And they were only a dollar. They were only a dollar as well. So, what did I buy? Okay. I'm like, what did I spend money on? So basically, I was shopping cheap. Um, that's really cute. I leave that on my desk and use it. This, um, this Marvel notebook was in the clearance section, and I took it up front, and I was like, okay, how much is this? Because I wasn't, it's made by uh, Pyramid America, uh, PyramidAmerica.com. So I don't know, like, it's not a Moleskine. If it was a Moleskine, I knew what the paper would be like, so it would have to be cheap. So I don't know what the paper quality is like on this. And the guy scanned it for three dollars, and I was like, "Okay, put it in. just yeah, I'm good. I'll buy that." <laughs> um, does that move at all? Yeah. So this moves up and down. Uh, it's novel. I don't. It's it creased the book here. I, you know, three dollars, guys. It's got a pen loop. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a cool, uh, like, aged graphic. Marvel Comics. Is that how it is? Oh. It's blank, but in the corner of every page it says Marvel Comics. This is in the back. Is this a pocket? Oh, it's a pocket. So it's very uh, journal. Very typical journal-like. I don't... I don't know. The paper feels different. Let's pen test. I don't have any pens near me. I just grabbed some pens. So let me pen test these and we'll see how they look. So, Sharpie, Stadler, I did the .01. I just literally was grabbing pens off my desk or out of my desk. A Juice .038, the Pilot Juice, a Pilot G2, and 05. I know this is a popular pen, so I always try and grab it. Uh, my fountain pen, I honestly have, it's just purple ink. I have no idea. I'd have to look. It's probably, it's probably Pilot since this is the Metropolitan. And a Sharpie marker, because that is always the dun -da -da -da, bleed, the bleed test. So, that's not bad. There's ghosting, but even the Sharpie, let me... Let me look a little closer here. That Sharpie, it's close, but it's not bleeding. 
So if you're heavy handed, it'll bleed. I was, I wasn't light handed, but so, wow, that's kind of cool. So not bad paper. Honestly, I bought it cause it was Marvel and I'm a sucker for a $3 journal. Apparently a big sucker for a $3 journal. So it's got a nice heavy band on it. It does have bookmarks. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that. It has a bookmark. Just a red, smooth ribbon bookmark. It'll go on my shelf with my journals. I'll find a use for it. I might use it as a sketchbook since it's not dotted or grid. So for $3, not bad at all. I'm going to set this actually under those. Okay, let me ditch the pen test pens. Um, next up, I'm going to go with these and these. So... Um, these I just grabbed at Michael's. I had a coupon. They were on sale, whatever. This is bubblegum pink and then black. I wanted the black in the Delusions because I know that Delusions is different from regular acrylic. It blends better. It goes on a little smoother. It's just, it's def definitely different. And I currently have Cherry Pie, which is not red. It's not red. It is definitely a pink, but you can see the differences between bubblegum pink and cherry pie. I wasn't going to open this, but, ooh, almost had a spill. So anyway, oh, Emmett. I totally had a spill. don't open when you're not ready. So anyway, so I picked up two of these. I'm slowly going to get all of them because I really, really love uh, art journaling with them. Um, then I picked up two distress oxides because I have really also discovered that while I have fallen in love with doing using these, I really like the oxide over the ink, um, especially in doing more of the art journal type of thing. So I picked up fossilized amber and peeled paint and I honestly, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what made me pick them, but that was just my quick little swatch. I, uh, I dig those. Then I got these. I got them from Amazon. They're acrylic painters and they're not bad. I threw away my initial little swatch, but you can see the colors I got. This is silver and this is gold, and then the white and the black, and then there's, so there's green, yellow. This green is more of a tealy green, I will say that. You can see the paint in them. Yellow, purple, red, blue, orange, and like a peachy orange. Pink, my pink sucks. So, you always, no name markers, you always run the risk. Well, this pink is not, it doesn't, the tip is... I don't know if it just needs to, I need to give it time or if it's just one of those pens that's just going to suck. I don't know what I paid for them. I'll link them below. I want to say they were probably, pink fingers, they were probably around $10 to $15. I know that I wouldn't have spent more. I would have bought a different brand or something. But I wanted to give them a whirl because they're acrylic painters and I thought they could be fun with layering on these with my art journal. I don't know. Um, I had this off to the side, so I'll show you guys something that I've been doing. Today in the mail, Amazon delivered, Bic Intensity Fine Liners. So, um, I got them in fine, 0.4 millimeter. I wanted to, somebody was talking about these and they were like, just talking, they, they were reading about them. And I'm like, you know what, I love a good fine liner. I write so noisy. I write with a Sharpie pen all the time now. It's just kind of been my go-to. Oh, I like the thinness. So it has a thinner barrel than the Sharpie pen. So if you find the Sharpie pen kind of a little thick, yeah, it's definitely got more of a, 
uh, Stadler Fine Liner. Not Stadler. That's not the right company. Ah, oh, shoot. The company that does the... Stadler does the triangle barrels, but the other one that does the octagon barrels. Anyway, both of those companies, this pen is thin like that. So I have what I call this little collections book, and it's an A6. It sits in my A6. This is my Crayola Super Tips. I numbered them, and I also made numbered labels. My Zebra Mild Liners, my Tombows, and I wrote all the Tombows out. And as I get more, I'll fill them in. I haven't ordered Tombows in a while. Oh! I didn't realize I did these. The acrylic paint pens are in here. This is that orange and that peach, but it didn't come out this color. Yeah, maybe it did. So, and then even that's white, but you can see the silver and gold. I think you can see the silver and gold. So those are nice. Um, we're just gonna do, I'm not actually gonna do this on camera. So let me just grab this piece of paper. I'm going to write these out off camera so you guys can see them. I just want to write with them. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Hmm. I I like this. And they were cheap. I will, again, I will link them. They were really inexpensive. But you know what I am really excited about? And honestly, when I buy a color pack, my only thing that I'm in it. You guys are going to laugh. I'm going to sit here and write in colors. The only thing I'm really concerned about is if I'm buying a color pack that it has purple. <laughs> and if you follow me on any other social media, you know that that doesn't that's not surprising to you. But what I was surprised about when I got is the gray. I love, don't know why, writing in gray. I discovered it with the the I think it's Staler Tri Plus fine liners. Because they have gray that I love. I love a gray fine liner. I don't know. I design a lot with gray too. It, I, I don't think I like the harshness of black. It sounds so weird, but it's true. So anyway, A plus for these. I will link them. The other thing I got, because I've been into the delusions and the journaling, is this is a journal block. It is acrylic. It will work with stamps. I don't own a ton of acrylic stamps. I'm actually going to go through and look at mine because I haven't been using them. But I watched a video with, um, does, it, does it say her name on here? Diane, Diane Revel, Revelry, Revelry, Revelry. Anyway, that's, it's, 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 her name is right there. Um, and she showed about how she was using this in her journal and she was, drawing a line and cutting a pages and making like layered pages and then she would take the cutouts and use them as tip-ins in the other places and I was like I really really like this idea so that is what made me get it now they do make a 10 or I'm sorry a 12 inch block and I had that in my list and I was gonna get it but I currently journaling in a eight and a quarter size height notebook. So this is actually like perfect to draw and cut out. The other thing you can do is you can use these, the circles um, in a pattern. There's um, these, oh, my hands a mess, little dashes. So you've got like some other options with it. Plus you can use it for stamping and it's a ruler. So I really, I liked it and I really kind of wanted, I think with my the next journal I've already started, I think I might do a couple of short pages and have and tip in and just kind of have a little fun with it. Something different. So I might try and create something cool. Anyway. Anyway. That's it. So that's my haul, guys. It's not a lot. I haven't um I haven't bought a ton of things. I have a big wish list. I'm trying to save some of it for Christmas. Um, I don't exchange a ton of gifts, but I really bad at, like with my mom and bad at letting her give, giving her ideas for me. So journaling stuff is kind of what I'm going to go with this year. Um, I am going to put all of the intensity fine liners in here. Um, and what I will do is I will do, I don't have a, cause I also need to add in, um, Ah, 
my other Tombow pens, the, the dual, it's not the dual brush pens, it's uh, their other dual. I'm drawing, ah, guys, my words, man. So I'm going to continue this as my collections in my A6 because I started it and I really like it. And it can sit on my desk even. It doesn't have to be in a traveler's notebook. Although that Chevy's kind of calling my name. Anyway. Guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions about any of this, or if I don't find a link or anything, or if you if I'm missing a link, just uh, shoot me a comment and let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna buy a better set of these down the road. Whatever. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. All the good stuff. I will talk to you next time. Bye.